Hello friends, let us now learn some important points about chronic tonsillitis. Chronic tonsillitis is actually a complication from acute tonsillitis. Pathologically, there is formation of microabscess and this microabscess is surrounded by the fibrous tissue this is actually this, this microabscess is surrounded by a fibrous tissue around which is seen in the tonsil this is total is seen in the tonsil most of the this chronic tonsillitis most commonly is seen in the children but it can also occur in adults there are two types three types of chronic tonsillitis we have chronic follicular tonsillitis it is almost similar to acute tonsillitis one it is chronic follicular tonsillitis where there is enlargement of the tonsil and this tonsil which is enlarged is actually filled with pus which is uh, look which, which looks like yellow po yellowish points all the crypts are filled with pus in chronic tonsillar follicular sorry chronic follicular tonsillitis then we have second type which is chronic parenchymatous tonsillitis in chronic parenchymatous tonsillitis the tonsils are very much enlarged there is enlargement of the tonsils so these tonsils are a lot enlarged and this enlargement of tonsils will interfere with speech and deglutition there will be problem in swallowing and also in speech in chronic parenchymatous tonsillitis then we also have one more type of tonsillitis which is chronic fibroid tonsillitis in chronic fibroid tonsillitis uh, there is sorry in chronic fibroid tonsillitis there the tonsils are actually small because of repeated infection and fibrosis of the tonsil because of this fibrosis the tonsils become small that is chronic fibroid tonsillitis so these are the, the this is the picture of uh, chronic tonsillitis you can see the enlarged tonsils which are seen in both the pictures here the tonsils are very much enlarged so if you see the clinical features the patient presents with recurrent episodes of sore throat here in chronic tonsillitis most important point is about recurrence there is recurrent episodes of sore throat chronic irritation in the throat there will be thick speech because of the if, if it is particularly parenchymatous type of chronic tonsillitis then there will be difficulty in speech deglutition difficulty in swallowing or deglutition or there can be choking spells can be seen at night so on examination what are you going to see on examination it mainly depends upon the type of tonsil if it is chronic follicular type of tonsils you will see yellowish beads of pus seen on the medial surface of tonsil if it is chronic parenchymatous tonsillitis the tonsils grow to a large degree of enlargement and sometimes they may even meet in the midline if it is chronic fibroid tonsillitis then the tonsils become very small in uh, size and sometimes this can express pus especially if you see in the chronic follicular tonsillitis if you try to squeeze the tonsil if you just try to squeeze the tonsil this will express pus and this uh, is given a name this sign is called has Erving, sorry, Erving, Erving Moore sign. This is called as Erving Moore sign, where if you try try to squeeze the tonsil, you will see the expression of pus is seen, right? 
now how are you going to treat this uh, tonsillitis a uh, chronic tonsillitis chronic tonsillitis you can give conservative treatment that will decrease the acute attack but the main cure for this chronic tonsillitis is tonsillectomy this is indicated whenever there are recurrent attacks or whenever the um, tonsils interfere with speech and deglutition and respiration so if you see the complications of tonsils if you see this tonsils in this chronic tonsillitis the infection is long standing so this infection can spread around the tonsil resulting in peri tonsillar abscess it can go to the pharynx causing para pharyngeal abscess sometimes there can be formation of abscess inside the tonsil itself causing intra tonsillar abscess sometimes there can be the pus becomes calcified and it can form tonsil low lids or it can also cause tonsillar cyst formation focus of infection if it is especially streptococcal infection it can lead to rheumatic heart disease granulo sorry glomerulonephritis or it can also cause skin diseases if it is due to streptococcal infection so this is about the chronic tonsillitis thank you for watching my lecture thank you